If you guys are in need of coins for any reason, make sure to check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. Use code Mike at checkout for 10% off. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Mad 19 video. Today we are doing an experiment type video where we're going to have Odell Beckham play the quarterback for the New York Giants. Now, as you guys know, Odell Beckham had that one play where he was subbed in and he threw a touchdown. It wasn't like an insane throw, but for a wide receiver, it was pretty nice. So essentially what we're going to do today is we are going to have Odell Beckham play the quarterback for the New York Giants and see how he does in comparison to Eli Manning. Now, in doing this franchise, you have to have a baseline. So I'm gonna have the Giants play with Eli Manning as their quarterback for the baseline, like I said, and then we're gonna do Odell Beckham. Now, if you guys didn't see the video I uploaded yesterday or you really didn't care, I, I understand it's, it's a new series. I don't know if many people are very receptive to it. I'll leave it as a link in the description if you wanna check it out, but from now on, guys, I I'm uploading what I have fun doing. And I was forcing Ultimate Team so much, and I'm just gonna upload what I have fun doing. And, and if you wanna watch it, that's great. If not, I understand, it's okay. So like I said, as the baseline, we are using Eli Manning as the quarterback. Now, Eli Manning will have Odell Beckham as a target. Obviously, Odell can't have himself as a target when he plays quarterback, so I'll probably make a trade, get him a weapon of some sorts, we're going to sim through this entire season, see how Eli does with their current offensive line and everything else. I'm going to go all the way to the playoffs. Um, if somehow the Giants make the playoffs in their division, I will be I will be supremely surprised. I, that's a weird phrase, but yep, I'm, I will be supremely surprised. Also, I figure it's this now. Happy Halloween to everybody that celebrates. I, I'm not sure who doesn't celebrate Halloween. That, that would be kind of wild, but... It's one of the best holidays. I mean, obviously Christmas is up there if you celebrate it. Thanksgiving, some people think is really good. My personal opinion, not really. I think Easter is great, uh, but Halloween, dude. Halloween is an absolute dummy. Okay, back to the video. Oh my God. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. The offensive line is very far down. Eli Manning is still a 75 overall. The Giants are 4-11-1. That legitimately might be better than what they actually do this year. Here is the big thing that we're going to check. Holy mother of God! Eli Manning! 3,800 yards, 30 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 59% completion. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my goodness! That is is unbelievable. Saquon Barkley, 1,100 rushing yards. You'd think it'd be more than that. As for receiving, Odell Beckham, only 900 receiving yards. How much does Saquon have? 456. He had five receiving touchdowns. Man, oh man. <laughs> man, oh man. Now, I want to like do some comparisons here. So, Eli Manning was kind of insane. Let's just, for example, look at Aaron Rodgers. 28 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Yes, he had substantially more yards, but uh, yeah, dude. Dude, Eli, what the? That's that is wild. That is crazy that he put up the, that like that good a number. So that's our baseline: 30 touchdowns, seven interceptions, 3,886 yards. Like I said, so that was the baseline of this experiment. We're using that to kind of judge how Odell Beckham can play right here. We're gonna change him to the quarterback. I'm gonna hopefully change the scheme and. Uh, uh, if he throws more than 30 touchdowns, I will be blown away. Now, I'm not sure if I can change like the scheme or anything like that, but I'm going to change the scheme and hopefully make it like a run first style offense with the option in there. Again, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try. Okay, so here we are. We're going to change Odell Beckham and make him a QB. Odell Beckham, 96 overall wide receiver. We're going to see how you are. At a little bit of a different position. Wide receiver changed into quarterback. Now, I'm not going to lie. Odell Beckham is one of the most athletic players I've ever seen. So, at a quarterback position, he might not be that terrible. Never mind. He's an 18 overall. Holy God. Now, I'm going to release Eli Manning because I, I, like, I want Odell to play quarterback the entire time. So, I'm going to release all other potential quarterbacks. 
Okay, so now we only have Odell Beckham Jr. as our quarterback. Hopefully he stays in that position and the CPU doesn't do anything wild. As for receiver now, we only have Sterling Shepard, so I'm gonna try to make some moves and get him a receiver. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get AJ Green on the team and uh, we're very close. I'm probably gonna take out the outside linebacker and just add in another pick. Again, this is a this is a pretty wild trade. Oh my God, okay. The, the Bengals are being annoying. Like I said, this is this is a wild trade. If it goes, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Two for First rounders and Landon Collins for AJ Green. All right, buddy. Okay, so obviously this is this is this will be like a crazy wild trade if it happened in real life, but I'm gonna try to make it happen. And apparently, okay, all right. Please, for the love of God, make this trade go, bro. Every single time, it's so close. Two first and Landon Collins for Devonte Adams. Oh my God, they just hate. They hate me. They hate. Will this work? Will it work? Oh my God, I hate this. Will this work, please? Oh, it's not even close. It's it's literally not, bro. I'm absolutely. This is it. This is this is my last trade that I'm gonna do, and it's literally not even close. I I cannot. I I just cannot fathom how this doesn't work. Okay, so I I I swear to God, I, I have made so many trade attempts, and none of them work. So I I I okay, Odell, you're not gonna have another receiver because no one wants to trade with the Giants. What I'm gonna do is I'm I'm just gonna make I'm gonna make Sterling Shepard better. I'm just gonna make him a lot better. Okay. Hey, Sterling Shepard, you are now a 96 overall. That's I. That's what I ended up having to do. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna try to change the offensive scheme. We're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna see how this is gonna work. So we can either do the spread concept or we can do the West Coast Power Run. It doesn't really fit Odell or the multiple zone run. I feel like spread is the move. I feel like spread is the move and I'm gonna give them a different playbook. I'm gonna go with the uh, with the Chargers playbook. Don't ask me why, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, so we have our schemes changed. Odell's our quarterback and he's got an elite receiver. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go to midseason because I, for some reason, I feel like the CPU is just gonna sign the quarterback and play him over Odell, which I really don't want to happen, but I mean, if it does, it does. There's really not much I can do there. Okay, so what I thought happened, uh, happened. We signed another quarterback and Odell didn't play. You hate to see it. So what I feel like I'm gonna have to do is simulate every single game like week by week, which is gonna be extremely annoying, but that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So the second half of the season hopefully is better. Well, okay, second half of the season worked out a lot better. I literally had to go week by week and simulate every game, but, uh, we're gonna see, we ended the season five and 11. You know, it's surprising. You feel like it would be worse than that. Take a look at our quarterback, Odell Beckham, passed for 2,000 yards, had 12 touchdowns, seven interceptions. I wanna see the rushing yards. How did Odell do in the rushing game? Uh, all right. He had four rushing attempts, Ever two yards. Not good. <laughs> Not good. As for receiving, uh, Sterling Shepard, 10 touchdowns. Wow, that's kind of insane. Um, yeah. So, this little experiment with Odell didn't go great. It didn't go terrible, considering he's like an 18 overall. He's literally an 18 overall. And he threw 12 touchdowns and seven interceptions. I would say that it could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. Well, boys, that's it for the video. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And guys, we'll see you in the next upload.